For his first illusion tonight, the magician will demonstrate one of the classics of magic. It dates back to the days of Houdini, when nearly every theater in the country featured live stage magicians instead of movies. Originally called through the eye of a needle, the trick uses these two solid oak wine barrels that are secured into sturdy wheeled stands. We'll get to that large bullseye in a minute. Two of the magician's assistants enter, carrying steel rods. The magician takes one and shows us that the rod is solid, and then threads it through the holes at the front of the empty barrel. He takes another rod and does the same. Now for the next rod. As we can see, these pieces of tubular steel are forming a cage-like barrier across the front of the barrel. Now for the last rod. Again, it's solid and impenetrable. The cage is complete. We now turn our attention to the other barrel and another beautiful assistant. Charming. She moves to the back of the empty barrel and climbs inside. Even more charming. Looks like a barrel of fun. Here's where the bullseye comes in. The two assistants spin the barrel and the girl so that the magician can place the solid steel bullseye over the back end. Sealed tight. Another assistant enters with an identical bullseye, again made of solid steel. The girl gives us a wave and the magician seals her inside with a steel plate. It can't be comfortable, but he's had her in much trickier positions than this. The barrels are now secured face to face. The one on the left containing the girl. The one on the right, empty, but caged off by the steel rods. The assistants spin the barrels so that we can see from all sides that there's nothing sneaky going on. From a hole in the top of the left barrel, the girl's fingers appear. The magician has a gift for her, this red silk handkerchief. She takes it. In an instant, it appears through the top of the other barrel. Impossible. Yet, there it is, and there are her fingers. This bears further investigation. The barrels are separated, and there's the girl behind the steel bars, just like a cunning cat in a cage. But how did she get in there? So how did the magician make his assistant travel from one barrel to the next, through the steel plate and solid steel rods, instantly appearing to defy the impossible? Here are the secrets. When the illusion begins, the magician demonstrates that the steel rod is solid and free from gimmicks before he threads it through the holes in the barrel. Notice that he does not show off the second rod. That's the first secret. This rod has been constructed with a spring at the center and two other points, which makes the rod flexible. As he inserts this rod, he's careful to grip it at the center, covering the joint with his hand and preventing it from bending as it's threaded into place. Both of the center bars are designed with these springs, allowing them to be spread apart wide enough for the girl to pass through. Now we know how she gets through the bars, but what about the solid steel bullseye that seals her inside the other barrel? The clever bullseye design conceals another secret. As we can see, there is a circle cut out in the center of the plate. 
This red and white bullseye plug is held in place by magnets. As we see here, the plug easily pops out and into the barrel. As the audience is distracted by the assistants, I mean by the assistants spinning the barrel, the girl inside is removing the magnetic plug and squeezing feet first through the trick spring-loaded bars. This is where practice and a willing assistant are critical. These secret angles show her path from one barrel into the next. It's a tight fit, but judging by her costume, she's used to such things. Once inside, she waits for the red handkerchief, which is the key to selling the speed of the illusion. Remember how it went in one hole and appeared a second later through the other? Here's how it happens so quickly. There's a second handkerchief. Before the trick began, the girl concealed it in her very tight costume. We never noticed, but she had it with her the entire time. When the magician hands her his handkerchief through one hole, she's ready with her smuggled handkerchief, poised to push it through the hole in the second barrel. This creates the convincing illusion that the same handkerchief has traveled from one barrel to the next at lightning speed. Now she immediately replaces the painted bullseye plug, and as the magician prepares to separate the barrels, she quickly stashes his red handkerchief through a hole and into the first barrel. The two barrels are separated, and she appears to have passed right through the metal plate and steel rods. An impressive classic trick. And now you know the secrets.